Miriam Moreno, later known as Rita Moreno, was born in Puerto Rico to Francisco Alvario and Rosa Maria. At just five years old, she moved with her mother to New York City, settling in Valley Stream with her mother's second husband, Edward. It wasn't long before Rita's talent for performing became apparent. She began taking dance lessons with her uncle, Paco Cancino, who also happened to be Rita Hayworth's uncle. In addition to dancing, Rita started dubbing American films into Spanish. At the young age of 14, Rita made her Broadway debut in Skydrift at the Belasco Theater, marking the start of a successful career in entertainment. Her early experiences shaped her future, both personally and professionally, leading to a lifetime of achievements in the acting industry. This classic actress would go on to captivate audiences for decades to come. In 1948, at just 17 years old, Rita Moreno was noticed by a talent scout, leading to a life-changing encounter with Louis B. Mayer of MGM. This meeting resulted in a seven-year contract with the prestigious studio. Throughout her early career, she starred in various films, sharing the screen with legends in movies like Singing in the Rain and The King and I. However, it was her groundbreaking role in the 1961 film West Side Story that catapulted her to stardom and earned her an Academy Award. Despite this significant achievement, the actress faced continuous typecasting and limiting roles due to lingering stereotypes in Hollywood. As a result, she made the bold decision to take a seven-year hiatus from the industry. During this period away from Hollywood, Rita Moreno focused on exploring other creative avenues and expanding her horizons beyond the silver screen. Her resilience and determination allowed her to eventually return to acting, where she continued to make her mark in both television and film. In 1968, after taking a brief hiatus, Rita Moreno made a triumphant return to Hollywood. She graced both the big screen and small screen, demonstrating her remarkable range as an actress. One of her most notable television roles was in The Electric Company, a children's educational series that aired from 1971 to 1977. This classic PBS show featured a cast of talented actors, including Morgan Freeman and Bill Cosby, who used humor and skits to teach kids how to read. Mo Reno's work in television extended beyond The Electric Company. Over the years, she appeared in numerous shows, including Marcus Welby, M.D., The Rockford Files, and The Love Boat. Her ability to shine in any role made her a sought-after guest star, and she continued to work steadily throughout the 1970s and 1980s. But it wasn't just her talent on the screen that earned Rita Moreno recognition. She became one of the few performers to achieve EGOT status, winning an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. Her first major accolade came in 1962, when she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Anita in West Side Story. This groundbreaking musical film told the story of two rival gangs in New York City and remains a classic to this day. Years later, in 1972, Moreno took home a Grammy Award for Best Children's Album for the Electric Company soundtrack. In 1975, she received an Emmy Award for Outstanding Continuing Performance by a Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for her work on The Muppet Show. And finally, in 1977, she won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a play for her performance in The Ritz. These prestigious awards were not the only honors bestowed upon Rita Moreno. In 2013, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States, by President Barack Obama. Two years later, in 2015, she received the National Medal of Arts from President Obama as well. These medals recognize Moreno's contributions to American culture and arts, cementing her place as a national treasure. Her impact extends far beyond the borders of the United States. In 1995, Moreno left her handprints and footprints outside the iconic TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood, joining the ranks of other entertainment legends like Marilyn Monroe and Judy Garland. That same year, she was also inducted into the California Hall of Fame further solidifying her status as a cultural icon. Despite all these achievements, Rita Moreno remains humble and dedicated to her craft. At age 89, she continues to act, sing, and dance, inspiring generations of artists to follow in her footsteps. Furthermore, the actress married Leonard Gordon in 1965, and they were together until his passing in 2010. During her life, she dated Marlon Brando, a relationship that brought many challenges. The struggles within that relationship led her to a dark moment where she attempted suicide, revealing the depth of her heartbreak. Openly discussing her experience, she became an advocate for mental health awareness 
emphasizing the importance of seeking help when facing such difficult times. Her courage to speak about her struggles has inspired many to address their own mental health issues and seek support. Renowned for breaking barriers and achieving what few have accomplished in Hollywood, Rita Moreno has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born Rosita Dolores Alvarillo on December 11, 1931, in Humacao, Puerto Rico, she began her journey in the world of acting at a young age. At just 15 years old, she moved to New York City to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. Moreno's big break came when she was cast as Anita in the groundbreaking 1961 film West Side Story. Her performance earned her critical acclaim and cemented her place in cinema history. But it wasn't until much later that she would become one of the rare individuals to achieve EGOT status, a testament to her versatility and talent across various mediums. Throughout her career, spanning over seven decades, this esteemed actress graced both the small and silver screens, delivering memorable performances that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. From her iconic role in The Electric Company during its original run from 1971 to 1977, to more recent appearances in hit series like One Day at a Time, her work continues to captivate generations of viewers. Offscreen, Rita Moreno uses her platform for activism, particularly advocating for Latinx representation in media. She remains active in promoting diversity and inclusion initiatives within the industry, ensuring that future generations can see themselves reflected on screen. This legendary performer's impact transcends beyond the realms of film and television, etching herself into the annals of history as a true trailblazer. Indeed, stepping into the vibrant tapestry woven by Rita Moreno means embracing a legacy marked by resilience, creativity, and unwavering dedication to the craft. As we look back upon her illustrious career, it becomes clear that this remarkable thespian will forever hold a cherished spot in our collective memory. In the star-studded universe of Hollywood, Rita Moreno stands out as a true trailblazer. Born Rosa Dolores Alvarillo Marcano on December 11, 1931, in Humacao, Puerto Rico, she started her journey in show business at a young age. At just 15, she moved to New York City with dreams of making it big. Her first breakthrough came when she was cast as Anita in the iconic film West Side Story. Her powerful performance earned her an Academy Award, making her the first Latin American actress to achieve this feat. But her accolades didn't stop there. She also won Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Awards, becoming one of the few artists to complete the prestigious EGOT sweep. Moreno has had a prolific career spanning over seven decades, gracing both stage and screen. She's known for her roles in shows like Oz, One Day at a Time, and movies like The King and I. Yet beyond her impressive body of work, Moreno has been a champion for diversity and representation in Hollywood. Throughout her career, she used her platform to advocate for equal opportunities for actors of color. From humble beginnings to achieving unparalleled success, Rita Moreno continues to inspire aspiring artists around the globe. With her indomitable spirit and undying passion for her craft, she remains a shining beacon in the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. Rita Moreno was born Rosa Dolores Alvarillo on December 11, 1931, in Humacao, Puerto Rico. Her parents, Paco Alvarillo and Trinidad Duran, separated when she was five years old, leading her and her mother to move to New York City. There, they lived in a crowded apartment in the Bronx with other families. Despite these challenging circumstances, Moreno's mother encouraged her artistic pursuits. Moreno's first taste of performing came at the age of six when she won a talent contest singing the good ship Lollipop. This sparked her interest in show business, and by nine, she had already appeared in her first Broadway show, Sky Drift, alongside Eli Wallach. As a teenager, Moreno attended the professional children's school in Manhattan, where she met people like Shirley MacLaine and Carol Lindley, further fueling her passion for acting. She also took dance lessons and became proficient in various styles, which later helped secure roles in Hollywood musicals. A significant influence on Moreno's career was Louis B. Mayer, the former head of MGM Studios. After seeing her perform on stage, he offered her a contract with MGM. However, despite his initial support, Moreno faced numerous challenges in Hollywood due to ethnic stereotyping and limited opportunities for actors of color during that time. Throughout her struggles, Ma Reno found inspiration in actresses like Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe, who stood up against studio heads and fought for better roles. Additionally, dancer and choreographer Jack Cole played a pivotal role in shaping Moreno's career 
After casting her as Zelda Zanders in the classic film Singing in the Rain, he recognized her potential and taught her essential techniques that would serve her throughout her career. Growing up in Puerto Rico, Rita Moreno was always drawn to the arts. At a young age, she found herself captivated by Hollywood movies, particularly the musicals. She would often mimic the actors and sing along to the songs, much to the amusement of her family. Her aunt, who recognized her talent, encouraged her to pursue a career in entertainment. At the tender age of 11, Rita's mother took her to New York City, where she began studying dance and acting under the guidance of various teachers. Despite facing numerous challenges, including language barriers and discrimination, Rita remained determined to succeed. She made her Broadway debut at 16, which marked the start of her illustrious career. One particular experience that solidified Rita's passion for acting came during a performance of South Pacific on Broadway. After watching the show, she went backstage to meet the cast and asked if she could perform one of the numbers for them. They agreed, and Rita delivered a powerful rendition of a cockeyed optimist. The reaction from the cast members left a lasting impression on her. They praised her talent and urged her to continue pursuing her dreams, further igniting her passion for the craft. Born Rosita Dolores Alvarillo in Puerto Rico, Rita Mar Reno's journey to stardom was filled with obstacles. Financially struggling, she moved to New York with her mother at a young age. To support herself, she worked various jobs, often attending school during the day and working nights as a dancer and singer. Despite her talent, Hollywood typecasted her in stereotypical roles due to her Latina heritage. She played numerous exoticized characters, rarely given opportunities to showcase her full potential. Yet, she remained undeterred, determined to break free from these limitations. Moreno learned how to speak with different accents fluently, which allowed her to audition for diverse parts. This skill proved crucial when she landed the groundbreaking role of Anita in West Side Story, where she displayed both her acting and singing abilities. Her powerful performance earned her critical acclaim and several prestigious awards. Throughout her career, Rita Moreno has been a trailblazer for Latinas in Hollywood. Despite facing numerous barriers, including prejudice and discrimination, she persevered through sheer grit and determination. By expanding her talents beyond what was expected, she opened doors for future generations of performers seeking equal representation in the entertainment industry. Let's journey back to 1961, when Rita Moreno took on the role of Anita in the movie West Side Story. This groundbreaking performance brought her an Oscar win, a first for a Latinx actress in a leading role. Her powerful portrayal resonated deeply, showcasing both her acting and singing talents. Moreno's career-defining moment did not go unnoticed by her colleagues. George Chakiris, who played Bernardo in West Side Story, praised her ability to bring depth and humanity to Anita, making the character truly memorable. Critics also lauded her exceptional performance, highlighting how she infused emotion into every scene. Years later, another breakthrough arrived in 1977 when Rita starred in the Electric Company TV series. Targeted at young audiences, the show aimed to boost literacy skills through entertaining skits and songs. As one of its main stars, Ma Reno left a lasting impression, inspiring generations of children to develop a love for learning. Collaborator Bill Cosby commended her energy and dedication during filming, noting how she could seamlessly switch between various roles while maintaining captivating performances. Peers and viewers alike admired her unique talent for connecting with people across different age groups. As we reflect upon Rita Moreno's remarkable accomplishments, let us remember how her indomitable spirit has transcended time, leaving behind a rich tapestry woven from diverse experiences. With each new endeavor, Moreno continues to etch her iconic mark onto the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. Rita Moreno's artistic vision and process are shaped by her rich life experiences and diverse cultural background. Born Rosa Dolores Alvarillo Marcano on December 11, 1931, in Humacao, Puerto Rico, she moved to New York City at the age of five. This early exposure to different cultures and environments greatly influenced her perspective and artistry. Mauro Reno once said, I am a very emotional human being, and I think being an actress allows me to utilize my emotions in a positive way. Her emotional depth is evident in her powerful performances, which resonate with authenticity and raw vulnerability. She approaches each role with dedication and passion, often immersing herself in research to understand her character better. Her unique style combines elements of grace, humor, and resilience. 
These qualities have allowed her to tackle various roles throughout her career, spanning over seven decades. From her iconic portrayal of Anita in West Side Story to more recent parts like Lydia Rivera in One Day at a Time, Moreno consistently delivers captivating and memorable performances. One notable aspect of Moreno's work is her ability to infuse her characters with strength and complexity. As a Latina actress navigating Hollywood's racial biases during the golden age of cinema, she faced numerous challenges and setbacks. Yet, through it all, she remained determined and unwavering in her pursuit of meaningful roles. Personal experiences also shape Moreno's artistic vision. For example, her struggles against discrimination and stereotyping inspired her advocacy for greater representation of Latinx communities in media. By taking on challenging roles and speaking out about industry issues, she has left an indelible mark on both stage and screen. In conclusion, Rita Moreno's artistic vision and process reflect her deep emotional intelligence, versatility, and commitment to representing marginalized voices. Through her impressive body of work, she continues to inspire new generations of artists to embrace their uniqueness and create compelling stories that touch audiences worldwide. Rita Moreno's impact and influence on the acting industry are undeniable. She rose to prominence in the 1950s and 1960s, earning critical acclaim for her portrayal of diverse roles, which was rare during that time. Her breakthrough role came in 1961 when she starred as Anita in West Side Story, a performance that won her an Academy Award, making her the first Latinx actress to achieve this feat. Moreno has been a trailblazer for Latino representation in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations of actors. As Eva Longoria stated in an interview with People magazine, Rita broke down barriers for Latinas in Hollywood, showing us that we can tell our stories and play complex characters. Apart from her work in film, Moreno has also made significant contributions to television and theater. She became one of the few performers to have achieved the prestigious EGOT status, further solidifying her place in entertainment history. Notably, Ma Reno's performances often tackle relevant social issues, challenging stereotypes, and pushing boundaries. For instance, her character in the Netflix series One Day at a Time addresses topics like mental health, immigration, and LGBTQ rights. According to Lynn Manuel Miranda, creator of Hamilton, Rita brings authenticity and depth to every role she plays. She inspires me because she uses her platform to advocate for marginalized communities while delivering exceptional performances. Throughout her career spanning over seven decades, Alreno has consistently demonstrated her versatility and dedication to her craft. By breaking barriers and setting new standards for diversity and inclusion, she continues to inspire aspiring actors and entertain audiences worldwide. Rita Moreno, a celebrated actress, leads a life full of passion and activism beyond the stage and screen. She has always been outspoken about various social issues, particularly those affecting women and Latinx communities. Her advocacy stems from her personal experiences and deeply held values. Ma Reno has been actively engaged in promoting literacy among children through organizations like Reading is Fundamental. As a lover of books herself, she understands the importance of fostering a love for reading in young minds. Additionally, she supports Planned Parenthood, believing in every woman's right to comprehensive health care services and education on sexual and reproductive health. Apart from these causes, Ma Reno also focuses on raising awareness regarding mental health, having experienced its challenges firsthand. In interviews, she speaks openly about her struggles with depression and anxiety, hoping to break down the stigma surrounding mental illness. By sharing her own journey, she encourages others to seek help when needed and promotes understanding. Furthermore, Rita Moreno champions environmental conservation efforts. She recognizes the urgency of addressing climate change and preserving our planet for future generations. Through collaborations with environmental groups and public appearances, she continues to spread awareness about sustainability and responsible resource management. As a recipient of numerous accolades throughout her career, including an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, Rita Moreno remains humble and committed to giving back. Her dedication to championing various causes reflects her deep commitment to making the world a better place. With unwavering determination and infectious enthusiasm, she serves as both a role model and advocate for countless individuals. Rita Moreno, a trailblazer in Hollywood, has left an undeniable impact on the entertainment industry. Her career spans over seven decades, earning her numerous accolades including an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. 
making her one of the few performers to achieve EGOT status. Moreno broke barriers in film, television, and theater, paving the way for diverse representation. As a Puerto Rican actress, she faced many challenges in a predominantly white industry. However, she persevered and became a symbol of resilience and determination. She starred in iconic films like West Side Story and gray star TV screens in shows like The Electric Company. Despite the adversity she encountered, Ma Reno remained committed to her craft and used her platform to advocate for greater diversity and inclusion in the arts. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, Ma Reno offers some valuable advice. Firstly, she encourages aspiring professionals to stay true to themselves and embrace their unique identities. By doing so, they can bring something fresh and innovative to their respective fields. Secondly, she stresses the importance of persistence and hard work, reminding us that success does not come easily. Lastly, she advises young artists to build a support system around them, seeking guidance from mentors and colleagues who share their passion and dedication. Reflecting on Moreno's legacy, it is clear that her contributions extend far beyond mere entertainment. Through her artistry and advocacy, she has inspired generations of performers to pursue their dreams while challenging the status quo. As we look towards the future, let us honor her accomplishments by continuing to push boundaries and create opportunities for underrepresented voices in the industry. Born Rosita Dolores Alvarillo in Puerto Rico, Rita Moreno's journey began when she moved to New York City at the age of five. Her passion for acting led her to study under the guidance of renowned actress Tamara de Carjanova. By 15, she was already making waves on Broadway, eventually earning a contract with MGM. However, typecasting and discrimination were rampant, pushing her to fight for diverse roles beyond stereotypes. Her breakthrough came with the role of Anita in West Side Story, where she showcased both her acting and singing talents. This groundbreaking performance earned her an Academy Award, making her the first Latina actress to achieve this feat. Yet, even after such success, she continued advocating for better representation of minorities in Hollywood. Mo Reno has since left an indelible mark on various aspects of the entertainment industry, television, film, music, and theater. From her iconic role in The Electric Company to recent appearances in hit series like One Day at a Time, she continues to inspire generations with her powerful performances and unwavering dedication to promoting diversity. Throughout her career spanning over seven decades, Rita Moreno's creative spirit and tenacity have shattered barriers, proving that talent knows no ethnic boundaries. She stands today as a testament to the transformative power of creativity and persistence, reminding us all that our stories matter and deserve to be told. Let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible career of Rita Moreno. With her unforgettable performances spanning over seven decades, she has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born Rosa Dolores Alvario Marcano on December 11, 1931, in Humacao, Puerto Rico, Rita's journey began when her family moved to New York City during her childhood. Her natural talent and charisma led her to perform in various nightclubs before making her Broadway debut at age 17. But it was her groundbreaking role as Anita in the iconic film West Side Story that catapulted her to stardom. Her powerful portrayal earned her an Academy Award, making her the first Latinx actress to win in a leading category. Quite an accomplishment. Throughout her prolific career, Rita has continued to break barriers and inspire generations of aspiring actors. From television shows like The Electric Company, where she played charming character Puppeteer Latina, to movies such as Carmen Jones, she consistently demonstrates her versatility and passion for storytelling. In recent years, you might have seen her gracing our screens with memorable roles in series like One Day at a Time. Now we want to hear from you. What do you think about Rita Mo, Reno's impressive body of work? Which performance resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories about the artists who shape our beloved entertainment world. Together, let's celebrate these remarkable individuals.